All right, so I've hit saved on this. Um, that's now saved out as a source file. I'm gonna go ahead and start again with a fresh one. Um, so just a fresh open session in Mastercam. I will go to, again, my machine tab. I will pull in the same machine. Again, just that placeholder default mill. But having the machine um, there allows me to go ahead and fire off my nesting utility, which I will now do. Uh, again, we're gonna do this on just a large sheet because it's funny. Uh, we'll say grain direction is horizontal. So moving that way, lower left. Um, I'll go to parts and I'm gonna go ahead and right click in there. Oh, sorry, my mistake. Uh, yeah, sheet margin is still two inches. So again, some of these carry over from the last time I used this. So you gotta watch for that, but that's fine. Under parts, since I need those guys to stay together, they are operational clusters, okay? And that's that's key. Um, if, I, if I bring those in just from the file itself, um, just to kind of show you what happens when I do that, uh, if I bring them in just from the file, um, they don't stay stuck together. And that's, that's not gonna work, right? It'll bring in the three tool paths, but it treats them as three completely separate things. And if I was to nest those out, they would just be kind of wherever they, they happen to be. Um, so we can't do that. They gotta stay clustered together. So we're gonna add these as a cluster. And when I grab those in, we now get one part with all three of those tool paths sort of applied to it, okay? Now, we're gonna go ahead and ask for a minimum quantity of 30, just for fun. I think that should be good. Part to part distance. I'm going to bump that up to say one inch. Uh, I think that should cover everything. Again, we're just kind of just throwing some stuff out there. Uh, grain direction, we're going to go ahead and list that as horizontal, just so I get sort of the you know consistent sort of you know uh, direction for them. And then I'm just going to go ahead and take a look and see kind of what Mastercam comes up with. And you know, there we go. You know, there's a, a whole bunch of sort of those sheets. Um, sorry, a whole bunch of those manifold uh, flanges. Um, 30 of them, and obviously I can, you know, yeah, I think I get quite a few out of them. We'll stick with 30, just so we don't drive ourselves crazy. I'm going to say OK, and that's going to sort of come up with my, my nested operation there. Um, now, is it doing sort of every part together? Is it doing sort of, you know, by tool path? What is it, what is it doing? Um, so if I back plot that, just out of curiosity, and I'm going to turn off those node points because they're a little hard to see, and I'm also going to turn off the... Uh, I'm gonna put it back in what they call incremental or run mode, just, just so again, it's a little easier to kind of see where it's going. What are we doing? So you can see, it looks like we're drilling the four holes first. Okay, so now we're doing the outside profile. So that's not gonna work because we're, you know, we're not gonna leave those pockets for last. So it's doing them in kind of whatever order it kind of made up its own mind. Okay, so that's not gonna work for us. So where do I control order? Well, in the nesting itself, under parameters, we just never got to that. I wanted to go ahead and do it in the toolpaths manager order. Pockets, holes, contour. Okay. So the order in which they were originally created. And that should then do them pockets, holes. And there we go, there's pockets. So we'll do the pockets really quick. And we should then do the holes and then the contour, okay? So you just kind of have to know where those guys are hiding to find that. Okay? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and, and even though, again, this is a ridiculously sized piece of material, um, I'm not sure how you would even get that on the table. Uh, I'm gonna go do a quick verify on it, just, just again, just for fun, um, just so we have the little satisfaction of seeing it, seeing it actually run. But I think we're good. Again, uh, sometimes we do funny things with scale. Uh, and again, I think that's 0.375 with the thickness, so that's okay. Sometimes you do abstract and big things just, just to get an idea of, of how something can work. Okay, and I'm going to save that. Uh, I'm going to call that nest test again, and I'm just going to overwrite whatever my old one was, probably the same thing. And we'll go ahead and grab our nesting routine, and we'll go ahead and look at that and verify. Now, uh, graphically, sometimes very large sheets can look a little funny once you zoom up. But we'll just kind of go ahead and run those through real quick. And I'll just kind of see if I can get this going as quick as I can. So there's our pockets. There's our holes. And then there was our contour right up there at the end. If I kind of zoom in, 
We can see our tabs. Again, my graphics card yelling at me about this. There we can see our little, little 20 thou tabs right where we left them. Perfect, good stuff. All right, now again, exaggerating the size of this material, if I've got a much smaller piece of material, and again, we're doing that for fun. If I've got a much smaller piece of material, or, you know, a long sheet, and I'm just trying to get as many as these out of that as I can. Uh, again, transform sometimes asks you to do a lot of the math on, on your own. And, and what I like about using the nesting uh, functionality, uh, again, is that it's, 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 you can evolve it, if, if that makes sense. Um, I'm never married to anything. I can always go back and adjust things. I can change the quantity. I can change the layout. I can adjust the size of the sheet depending on what I'm being asked to make that day. But the important thing is the parts program or the parts are programmed. And they're just waiting for me to determine quantity. So, you know, once I've got something programmed apart and I, I know it's something that I might have to make again in the future, as long as I can find that file, um, I can nest it as a cluster, you know, nest it as a cluster. Um, I think that's what I said, nested as a cluster um, or nested individually and just, just you know, basically just control my quantity uh, and determine what my yield needs to be for that day. Um, really kind of a nice, interesting way to program. Um, definitely worth looking into. Um, you know, definitely worth just kind of experimenting with. Maybe it'll work for kind of what you guys do.